Hi, I'm Martin Lindsay from the Stunning Learning Centre at RMIT University. This is a short movie on solving quadratic equations. The general form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a is not equal to one. For instance, 5x squared minus 3x plus 9 equals 0. In this case, a equals 5, b equals minus 3, and c equals 9. And if you have the equation x squared equals 5x minus 4, you then have to rearrange it into the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. In other words, this becomes x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0, where a equals 1, b equals minus 5, and c equals 4. Let's start with y squared equals 5y. As you can see, this is not of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, so rearrange it to make it look like that. y squared minus 5y equals 0. Notice that this will factorise into y brackets y minus 5. Now we have the form m times n equals 0. y times y minus 5 equals 0. So we can use the null factor law, where y equals 0, or y minus 5 equals 0, from which y equals 0, or y equals 5. Notice when you get your answers, it's a good idea to check that when substituting y equals 0 and y equals 5 back into the original, y squared equals 5y, that you get the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. Do this for yourself. Let's look at this example, x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. Note how it's different to example 1. It's a trinomial here, x squared term, an x term, and a number term, a constant. That will factorise into x minus 4, x minus 1. Again, we have our null factor law, x minus 4 times x minus 1. So using that law, we get x minus 4 equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0, from which x equals 4, or x equals 1. It's always a good idea to check to see that the answers are correct by substituting back into the original equation. You can do this for yourself. Let's look at another trinomial, p squared plus 10p plus 25 equals 0. This will factorise into p plus 5, p plus 5. Notice it's a perfect square and thus, using the null factor law, we have just one p plus 5 equals 0, from which p equals minus 5. Again, do the check to make sure the left-hand side of the original equation equals the right-hand side, which is 0. Here's another example, 4m squared minus 49 equals 0. Notice that this is the difference of a perfect square. In other words, it becomes 2m plus 7, 2m minus 7 equals 0. Again, using the null factor law, 2m plus 7 equals 0, 2m minus 7 equals 0, from which m equals minus 7 over 2, or m equals plus 7 over 2. And finally, here's a more complicated quadratic equation to solve. Here we're given x equals minus 6 over 1 minus 2x. So we have to do some rearranging first to turn it into ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And that's what I've done in this second line. So we have 2x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0, which needs to be factorised. And it does into 2x plus 3, x minus 2 equals 0. Using the null factor law, we arrive at x equals minus 3 over 2, or x equals 2. So those are our solutions. Now do some problems for yourselves. The answers to these six questions are on the next slide. Thanks for watching this short movie.